now to the Better Call Bank and investigation into alleged check cooking. So that's when someone alters a check they either steal or are given. And last month we told you about a Temple Terrace woman whose check was stolen, altered, and then cashed. Well, tonight a bizarre connection to another crime in Pinellas County that involves guns, printers, and hundreds of personal documents belonging to individuals as well as some businesses. Eight on your site, consumer investigator Shannon Bacon joining us now with her ongoing investigation into this. Keith Pala, in the course of an arrest in a rental fraud case, it appears the Largo Police Department stumbled upon evidence of an organized criminal operation that connects to my ongoing investigation into check cooking. But tonight, there are serious questions about how multiple law enforcement agencies are responding to what was found. Last month, Temple Terrace hairstylist and salon owner Phyllis Faber called me for help after the check she dropped off to pay a bill at a nearby pinch -a penny was stolen and altered, changing the 170 into 970. And my handwriting is the signature. The payee was changed to someone named Keeley, and Temple Terrace police tell me they have surveillance video of someone cashing the check at a Pinellas County Regions Bank. It was Keeley. Remember that name. With that backdrop fresh in your mind, I have an alarming update. Public records show that a few weeks earlier on January 30th, the Largo Police Department arrested a man for allegedly using a fake ID to rent a property. He was in a Kia Seltos, registered to the same 23-year-old Keeley who allegedly cashed Phyllis's check. According to the report, inside the car, officers found check paper, a printer, a metal grinder, IDs, bank cards, checks, and hundreds of personal documents belonging to individuals and businesses. Some of the highlights, 30 pieces of unopened personal mail, 21 financial documents for a dentist office, 27 personal checks, 57 banking statements, 10 checks for a wound care facility in Tampa, 55 business checks for various citizens. This map shows several of the victims' addresses clustered in Temple Terrace. Some victims were named in the report, including the chiropractic business of Dr. Pavela Santa Maria. Nearly two months after the documents were found, I am the first to tell her. I am completely blindsided. I have no idea what these documents could be, and honestly, I'm very, very worried. Here's the kicker. Temple Terrace police and Largo police have closed their investigations. I think that it's a complete mess and I think that nobody really wants to get involved with it and everyone's just kind of passing the baton like oh not my problem not my problem and it's it's very disheartening according to public records the personal documents are from 19 Florida counties or cities and four other states including California Maryland New Jersey and Virginia the Largo Police Department tells me that they have issued what's known as a BOLO report alerting other law enforcement agencies of the as evidence seized but at the time no agency appears to be investigating the larger check cooking scheme Wow, I know it's complicated, but I mean, just to close this just doesn't seem right. I mean, you have the Temple Terrace case right there. They say they have the woman on video, right? They do have the woman on video, and a spokesman for the Temple Terrace Police Department tells me that their intention is to transfer that to another agency since that check was cashed in Pinellas County and not Temple Terrace. Meanwhile, I'm reaching out to the Attorney General's office because this is the very type of scheme that she has vowed to go after. But again, the big takeaway here, nobody's claiming this big investigation right now that they've uncovered and that we have highlighted. Well, perhaps Ashley Moody and her team will get on this because it's obviously a bigger problem than just one agency. I mean, it's all, all around. Mm -hmm. It's troubling. Thank you.